rural Kenya, a land ravaged by HIV. For women, a life expectancy of 46 in a society which gives them no hope. What started off as a small project has grown to help women reclaim their lives. This is a story of those women, a story of hope, a story of empowerment. The Kenana Neaters is a grassroots business, employing a few hundred women as neaters and spinners. They produce organic knitted products that are sold around the world, with the profits going back into helping the women. Noel is 29. She started off as a general knitter, a young mom in need of work. She now oversees most of the workshop floor. So when the knitters come, uh, they have to weigh their knitted items just to check the weights of the wool they were given. Uh, it's all returned back. It's Monday. Today's big challenge is to source enough wool for the week ahead. If Noel gets this wrong, the knitting won't happen. We check the evenness of the wool, so it has to be very even, uh, with no bumpy bumpy. It has these uh, pieces, so it has to be even like this one. Uh, they weigh the wool, and then she'll write down uh, on this sales book, we get money. I pay them uh, the money. And then, uh, yeah, that's all. That's how we buy wool. The next challenge is to dye the wool. Noel gives this responsibility to Monica. Without Monica, there would be no color at Kenana. Monica heads up the kitchen where all the wool is treated. Now we are cooking the red, brew with red cabbages. We have just come from chopping them in the stove. Yes. Now we want to mix the, the wool and the cabbages for just five, 10 to 20 minutes. Once the wool is ready to go, Noel hands it out to the army of knitters. One of which is Mary. Mary has become one of the top knitters at Kenana. She is well known for her love of knitting sheep. Mimi ni vile ninaitwa mama kondo wakati nilipoandikwa hapa kazi. Nili kitu ya kwanza nilipewa ya kwanza likuwa ni kondo. Sasa wakati nilitoa sambo, nikatoa sambo mzuri. Sasa ninachesehaga tu hapo, si kuwa gina nini kondo tu, ndiyo nikaito makondo, na mimi nikajukubali. Nobody at the Nitas is asked whether or not they are HIV positive, but it's never far from anyone's mind. Antiretroviral drugs, ARVs, are given to the women that are HIV positive, which help them to stay healthy. Waiting for us all. Yes. For yes. us all. Jane is a local voluntary counseling and testing worker. Today is her weekly clinic with the knitters. When, whenever I come to give services to the ladies there, uh, first of all, I have to sensitize them on issues related to HIV. Evelyn has come to see Jane because she is struggling to keep to her medication. Hey, Evelyn, how are you today? Come in. You know, ARVs works in uh, a better way if you take your medicine in time. Evelyn's husband used to work on the farm, 
That was before he found out he was HIV positive. Something he found too hard to deal with. So he told me to give him some money to go and buy a bicycle tube. And it was lies. He went, he bought the, the rope, and he came back, he boarded a matatu, and he came to the forest now. So I just, I just went home, prepared the, the lunch, and it was late. I started preparing supper. Oh, I couldn't see someone coming back. When I went, I came out of the house, I saw hey, there's a lot of people here, and they are all looking at me. So I, I sensed something, there's something wrong. That's when I saw now the police car, the policemen, and some village men around there. And they were coming, they were coming towards my house. I just waited for them, and they came and they told me about the story of my husband. The shame of HIV and her husband's suicide carries a particular stigma in Kenya. A stigma that Evelyn has fought to overcome. After a hard day at the Nita's, Noel's work isn't over. When Noel found out she was pregnant with Agneta, she was in for a shock. In February is when I discovered that he was married. And then uh, he had a daughter also. I was thinking of aborting. And then when I asked him, you're married, and you didn't tell me you're married, uh, that's when he left me. He just went. And he knew I was pregnant, and he didn't care. Yeah, before, before it used to be like that. People uh, would hate you and say maybe you're, you're like a whore. Um, you take people's husbands sometimes. Um, you can't get somewhere by yourself. People used to think that. And somehow, nowadays, people think that way. But many of us are single mothers. Uh, we've uh, moved on with our lives. We are better off than even married people now. Noel's boss, Kerry, is concerned about today's shipment. One of Kerry's responsibilities is quality control, and she's noticed a problem with the latest batch. If this doesn't get sorted, it's not looking good. If we don't have orders from our clients, we don't have work. Yeah. Yeah. If our clients get um, crossed because of poor work, we don't get work. So what I always try and do with them is forget the whole business and the economics part of it. Literally take it back to, do you like coming in every day? Do you benefit from what you do here? And if you do, no one can keep it going but yourselves. So that, in a nutshell, is trying to translate business into grassroot level, is what it is. And it's just every now and then it takes a public announcement to do it. After the death of her husband from HIV, 
leaving her with six children, Mary found herself at death's door. Mimi, wakati yambele ni liona ni ni ishe ima ishi daini ondo ke lakini ni kaona mungu alikuwa upande wangu kwa sababu ndi ata wakati nilipo kuja kasi hapa nilipo kuja kasi hapa hivi nilikuwa na pendo nikiwa msima lakini wakati nilipo wanjeka mimi si kupenda kwangu ni msiangu ndi aliniletea shida aliona tu kunisaidia niliona usaidisi mkubwa sana juu kama si hawa mimi hata singe jitoa kwa hospitali ama hata singe kuwa kwa sababu ugonjwa ilikuwa imenilemea kabisa kwa hana alinipea mashauri fulani yenye nilikuwa nikiishi nikiota kwa ndoto yangu na nikaona hiyo jambo mimi yani nilikuwa nimeona nimefika mwisho mwisho kabisa lakini wakati nilipoenda kupiga magoti kwa Mungu nikaambia Mungu wewe unisamee kwa sababu si kupenda kwangu nipato na hii shida lakini wewe Mungu unanijua fiem The quality issues have been resolved. Kerry signed off the batch and Noel's order is ready to go. At the end of the week, once checked, the knitted products are packed and sent off to countries around the world. Anna is overseeing the shipment. This is KUK order. They are starting vacuuming it into sacks. After another week at Kenana, Noel is doing her final calculations. I'm trying to uh, check the balance sheet, um, the ones that were part, yeah, and then the ones that are needed the next, um, the next shipment, which will be on uh, in February, mid February. Yeah. <laughs> Next week, the same group of women will come back and they will need the same things. Noel will be running the workshop, Mary will be working on her sheep, and Evelyn will continue helping with the orders. But for the ladies here, this is not just a 9 to 5 job. It is not just money in their hands. Kenana has given them a chance at life a sense of worth, to stand up and make a difference. They are knitting their lives back together, stitch by stitch.